market is hot across East Texas and it's impacting every part of the buying process. It's a twofold problem. More people are buying and that's happening as there are fewer houses to buy on the market right now. CBS 19's Aaron Baker is taking a closer look at the challenges and how to find a place to call home. It started as a family move, a normal event in life. Great job, but we took this opportunity in Arkansas and um, we sold our house. It was a great house and we had no desire of leaving. But with our house on the market, it sold instantly. But after a health scare. My dad actually got um, diagnosed with stage four cancer and it was just a really bad outlook. And I was like, well, we can't leave now. It turned into a nightmare with their house sold and nowhere to go. We would already quit our job and we had already sold our house. So um, I went to Ken and I was like, you gotta find me a house because I'm gonna be homeless in like a week. Rachel Johnson's story is just one example of how hard it is to find a place to live right now. And if you're lucky enough to find a place, how hard it is to afford it. A Texas Monthly report shows home prices in Texas increased by 33% in the last two years, up in most of Texas's big cities. Really, it started back in 2019 is when, if you look at the data, with absorption rates and supply and demand. Mid-2019, it really started to become a seller's market here. Here in East Texas, home prices have skyrocketed over the last two years, up nearly 23% in Tyler and almost 29% in Longview. It's just as tough to find a rental, too. Josh Tavener with Nancy Wright Properties says. A lot of stuff isn't even making it to market. It's getting rented before it even goes online. People are also selling their homes and then renting while they wait for prices to go down. Every time I turn around, I was talking to someone who's selling their house because they want to, you know, get 30, 40, 50 over what they're asking for it and sell it like that. They're going to kind of buckle down for a year, get a place they can, you know, be happy with for a year, rent it, and then assess what the market's doing at the end of their lease. Census data shows that in 2019, the median household income in Tyler was just under $53,000. In Longview, it was around $49,000. That's making it tough for some East Texans to compete with the sudden increase in costs. So what's the best way to find an affordable place to live? In the rental market, it's all about planning ahead. When you know when you're going to be moving, contact someone that is a professional in the rental market. If you're buying a house, be in it for the long haul. It is a long ride. It can be, it can be tiring, riding offer after offer. Um, just the right home will come along, the right timing will present itself, and, and we'll get you in one. And if you're financing that house, know that you have more options than the traditional 20% down, 30-year fixed mortgage. Oh, there's so many great programs that are out there that you don't have to have 20% down. I mean, we have a no down payment program out here. Um, it's built for the rural areas. And so um, you can get in, you know, with nothing if you qualify, of course, percent down, 3% down, 5% down options. So what the customer has available to them is far more options than just the 20% down. One thing experts feel confident about, it won't be like this forever. For now, rental companies are ramping up and trying to adapt to this new normal. Between now and I guess the next 12 months, you know, we're going to have just over 500 new doors in the Tyler area trying to accommodate for all the people that are moving here, all the people that are needing a place to, to live and rent. And mortgage specialists are reminding people to look back in time and remember that the mortgage market is still in a better place than it was years ago. If you look at rates historically, you know, over the last 30 to 50 years, they've averaged, you know, eight or eight plus. Um, so if we're in the threes and the fours, you know, we're in the fours, we're still in a great spot when it comes to interest rates. We're still good. You can still afford to buy a home. Homes are still affordable. For Johnson and her family, they finally found a place to live. The house that we finally got was from a builder, and um, we offered on it the day it went on the market. We offered full asking price. But the search for their dream home put on hold. So we got a very nice, brand new house on a half acre lot. It is what most people want. It is not what we wanted. We wanted, we came from a place with four acres, um, but you just can't find that now. Um, not for under. $430,000. I'm Aaron Baker for CBS 19.